Hello, editing here. This is a prequel to F Dom Enemy Spy Holding Down With Her Thighs. Um, for the most part, I strayed away from the plot of RE2 since I wanted to incorporate a different ending, situation, um, relationship thing, in style. There's going to be a lot of plot holes because I didn't intend to connect the two parts together, and I improvised about 90% of this audio, and we all know I'm a certified yapper. So, I apologize if at some point something doesn't make sense, we're all here trying to have fun. Anywho, enjoy the audio, and good luck on your first day. Jeez, this outbreak is worse than I thought. I can't even get around without stepping on a dead corpse. Ugh. I do not look forward to laundry day. Blood is so hard to get out. That's probably him. <laughs> I knew you'd return, you vile beast. And the gunshots are... coming from the police station. Hmm. My little compass. Who thought it was a good idea to turn an art museum into a police station? These beautiful statues have been turned into weird puzzles too. <laughs> what water is the department drinking to be this weird? Now, where did he run off to? <sighs> Making my job a lot harder than it should be. I don't feel like exploring this entire place. I might as well make my way down from here. Surely he ran off to find weapons. In a massive weapons closet underground, right? Though... He doesn't need to. The underground parking lot. Huh, not much of a weapon room though. Hmm? Ah, oh, there you are. I didn't know you were such a ladies man. You look a lot different from how I expected. Alright, no more monologuing. Time is running out. Are you half asleep or something? You need to be on your guard. Running around frantically without a gun out? Doesn't seem like a good idea, Mr. Cop. First day on the job, huh? <laughs> well, doesn't this seem like a fun first assignment? Have you been able to locate anyone else? Just me? Well, obviously. I'm standing right in front of you. Hmm. We are way outnumbered. And unfortunately, finding enough resources to stay alive isn't easy either. If only we could heal our wounds with different colored herbs we find scattered around the city. <laughs> and good luck finding a typewriter. Oh, my bad. Anyways, my name is Ian. I work for the FBI. I was sent here to investigate the virus that has now taken over Tanuki City. 
Mm, I was informed of the virus early this week. It was a little experiment made by everyone's favorite pharmaceutical company, Paraplay. It was meant to be contained in the labs, but it seems like someone let it out. Arrest them? <laughs> Who? I doubt anyone out there is alive for us to arrest them. Besides, that's not our priority at the moment. Mm. There was one scientist. She used to live in Paraplay's underground laboratory, focusing on how to better the world with all these... experiments. Creating bioweapons to aid the military in its destruction. Oh, I interrogated her before I got here. I was lucky enough to get answers from her before she died. Apparently, there's an experiment roaming around the city. The very last one. It broke out 22 years ago and returned to Tanaki City just as the virus started up. As if the outbreak lured it back to the place it was born in. She doesn't know where it went. The lost test tube baby beast? Well, more like she refused to tell me its whereabouts. And without any leads? I'll have to wrap up my investigation and send in evidence to close my mission. Which means... no paychecks for me. Though... without that monster... We wouldn't be able to make a cure. Since its blood has a chemical to counteract the virus. Unsatisfactory, isn't it? I'm more displeased than you, really. And this city is enormous. I doubt the thing is still here. Oh, her? She just... ended up infected. And chances are... Those of us who stepped foot in the city are infected already. It just takes a bite to turn us into those. Oh, crap. More of them are pouring in. Shh. We need to hide. Uh, I don't have any more ammo left. You don't happen to have any, do you? Uh, never mind. Let's just ha- uh. Uh. Uh, Fuck. I think I tripped over a dead body. <clears throat> w w wait. Y your face is nuzzled in my- My- uh, Can you move your head out of there? This is a little too intimate for our first meeting, don't you think? Mm -mm. I'll just deal with it for now. Mm -hmm. Shh. Your mouth may be covered up, but you're still a little too loud. The vibrations of your voice is bothering me. I'm just going to keep your head still with my thighs, okay? Don't... 
Don't move your head too much. I, I, I said don't move it. You're making this whole situation a lot more dangerous. There is only a few layers of clothes in between us, you know? The friction is a little... too much. <gasps> Control your scent, will you? You can probably smell how excited you're starting to get. one. Huh? Oh, uh, so sorry. I didn't realize I was putting more pressure on your face. I'll, uh, get off now. There. Are you okay? Are you able to breathe? I didn't mean to get on top of you like that. I tripped on a corpse and it just ended up happening. <laughs> Judging by that smile on your face, I can tell you like being smothered with a woman's. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Don't lie. I can tell you enjoyed it despite the dangerous situation. And, you know, I kind of enjoyed it myself. <clears throat> we should probably get going. Now that I'm done with my business here, what's important now is to get out of here and live the rest of our life slowly dying on the inside. I have a base outside of town that we can rest in. I'm sure it's been a long day for the both of us. And we need to make sure how to stop this virus from spreading to other places. And clearly, someone is having trouble doing so. Don't worry, Rocky. I'll be here every step of the way. Speaking of which... <laughs> you owe me another one. Here, take my hand. Can you stand? <laughs> I didn't intend to rhyme. You think you're so funny? Come on, time is running out. No? <laughs> what do you mean, no? Do you value your life at all? Are you out of your mind? What is there for you to do? Do you see any other cops running around fighting these creatures off and saving the world? Look at how they turned out. Do you want to add on to the pile of cocky cops thinking their mediocre shooting skills are going to save the world? I didn't know they taught zombie fighting skills at the police academy. Besides, your best bet at saving the world is getting the hell out of here. <sighs> Not budging, huh? Is there anything I can do to convince you to come with me? 
I can't afford to leave you behind. Oh, I have a great idea. Have you ever felt the touch of a woman? Specifically, being dominated by one? From the looks of it, I can tell you're quite inexperienced. And you just won't stop admiring my figure. Especially after what just happened. I'm very flattered by your lustful eyes. Hmm, how about this? We both make it out alive, and your face can be smothered again. Yeah, you like how that sounds? Then, how about I give you a little taste of something new? Teach you how soft my tongue feels against yours. If this doesn't entice you to come with me, I don't know what will. Don't you want to taste more of that? Hmm, that's a good boy. Come on, you'll get more when we're fully alone. Oh god, this city is a mess. All this innocent blood is sickening. I certainly wouldn't let filth like that touch my skin. Hmm? Why I'm wearing heels? <laughs> How do you expect a woman to kick ass if she isn't wearing heels? Serving cunt even in dire situations. Besides, the sharp point is the perfect eye-piercing weapon. It's also deep enough to reach the brain. Convenient, right? And here's our ride. Luckily for you, I brought a spare helmet. Hop on. What? Never seen a woman on a motorcycle before? Come on, we had an agreement, right? <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, hold onto my waist very tightly. I wouldn't want you to fall off. Okay, not that tight. Although, if you pull me that close into your body, I'm going to start to get the wrong idea. Or maybe the right one. Here we are, our temporary dump. Gorgeous, isn't she? The previous owner ran off as soon as the outbreak started. 
Or at least he tried to. His body is rotting in the backyard. So, uh, don't go out there. <sighs> well, today has been a long day. Tomorrow, we need to report our findings and search for any survivors. Do you think you can handle it? <laughs> I knew you got that dog in you. Come on, I'll take you to our bedroom. You wanted to do things with me, didn't you? You wanted me to teach you more than just kissing. More smothering your face with me. Well, good boys deserve a reward after all. And you've been really good for me today. Oh, and if it wasn't obvious, we're going to be sleeping on the same bed. <laughs> what? Do you think I'll let you sleep on the floor? Unless you want to do so, you can. But then, you'll be missing out on some very, very touchy cuddling. Alright, right this way. Do you mind closing your eyes for me? I need to lift up my dress a little. You know, so there's as little fabric in between us as possible. That's right. Just like that. No hard feelings, rookie. I enjoyed the time we spent together, but for the sake of humanity, this has to be done. Remember the bioweapons I was talking about earlier? <laughs> yeah. I was talking about you. You are one of Paraplea's failed experiments. The very last one. I was wondering how stupid you think I was. Pretending you had no idea what I was talking about. <laughs> you think you could fool me? And you're still pretending, huh? That scientist who created this mess? She was your mother. She felt so fucking bad about bringing you into this world. This world of danger and corruption. And so, she did what any other mother does. Inject you with the same chemicals those monsters were made out of. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't very normal, now that I say that out loud. But she did it out of love. She knew you'd be too weak to defend yourself. And she isn't wrong. You don't even know how to pull out your gun when you're surrounded by bloodthirsty zombies. The one major problem this poses for the rest of humanity is... In case of a super stressful situation... 
you would break out of your human form and become the very monster you swore to destroy. The reason why you're still a human right now is because she injected you with strong suppressants every night whilst you were still a baby. To make sure you didn't turn out like the others. Stretching out your human lifespan. Isn't that nice? Baby boy was loved by his mommy. Aww. Since the last time she injected you was more than two decades ago, the suppressant has been exiting your body. We have no idea when you're going to turn. It's such a shame you won't be able to meet her for the last time. The bullet flew way too fast through her skull. It was quite nasty. I should have kept her alive so you two can have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. But then my anger got the better of me and pulled the trigger. Oops. Now then, remember how I said the bioweapon's blood is needed to make a cure? We don't have much time, so we should start extracting you. Uh, huh? Ugh, already? I thought we had a few days left. Oh, fuck. You see, the city is being wiped out. That means I have to get your blood and get out of here. Let's get this over and done with. Come on, don't make this any harder than it should be. Ugh, I said don't move. I... The way you're looking at me... It's throwing me off. Stop doing that. I already feel bad enough as it is. I'm just doing my job. And yet I... Ugh, what's wrong with me? I have to do this to save the world, but... That means you'll be hurt in the process. And who knows what they will be doing to you when I'm done here. I'll miss your clumsiness, your handsome face, your kind eyes. I have never been with someone so silly yet so endearing. I'm sorry that this is the way things have to go. I... hope you understand. Look, I... just one last thing before we part ways. I'm sorry for not upholding my promise. Maybe in another life, we can finish what we started. Uh, uh, the floor! It's breaking! Oh, shit. I need to get you out of those cuffs. Come on. We need to get out of here. I didn't think the radius would be this big. I was promised this was a safe house. Uh, come on. Uh, uh, rookie! Oh, fuck. The earthquake tore a hole in the ground. Your hand. 
Help me up. I don't think I'm going to make it at this rate. You need to leave me behind. You have to. I said go. I had a good time with you today. Despite the world pinning us against each other. I... I hope we'll meet again in our next lives. I love you. You're Ian, correct? Depends on who's asking. I have a mission for you. Prove yourself worthy, and you'll find yourself bathing in riches. Where to? Spain. A helicopter's waiting for you outside. Hasty, are we? We still haven't introduced ourselves. Though, I guess we don't need to with this job. <sighs> A federal agent is currently en route to the location. While I'm unaware of the purpose of his visit, it's imperative we ensure he doesn't interfere with a matter of particular importance to me. Federal agent? In Spain? Intrigued, are you? Here's his files. <gasps> I'll take on the mission. As long as you promise you won't harm him. Oh, and Ian, I'm aware of your history with this man. Oh, and Ein, I'm aware of your history with this man. Irrespective of your existing relationship, I anticipate completion of the task. Is that clear? I have reservations about his potential interference. Don't worry. Knowing him... I'll be able to keep my puppy under control. <laughs>